This week we try to find our way out of the Great Escape Room. And then we explore the wild side of Florida. Plus the latest attractions, news, a new giveaway, and more. It's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can find the best in Disney entertainment and NASCAR memorabilia. Visit their showroom right here in Orlando or online at ThemeParkConnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MouseFanTravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to Disney World, Universal, and other Orlando area attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. Now, uh, most of y'all, you know, probably do watch this on YouTube the day that they, this is uploaded on Thursday mornings. Mm -hmm. But for those of you who watch it on Bright House or later in the day, by the time you're watching this, I'm going to be a dad. Mm -hmm. Today is, is our daughter's birthday. She, we're having a C-section in the afternoon. Uh, very... Very excited. This is, so this exciting. Is such such a thrill. I, I'm scared. I'm excited. I, I, I'm 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 ready to be a dad. You're it's ready be to fun. be a dad. That's awesome. Well, I'm ready to give you a present that I actually oh. made for oh, your little baby really? girl. Yeah, I made her a couple bows for Aww. you. As we know, Elise has been doing a lot of bow making lately. <laughs> I they're very beautiful bows. Thank you. And these are gorgeous. They're headbands. So this is. Oh wow. This is a baby toothless. A toothless? Oh, <laughs> I love How to Train Your Dragon. Love that. And then, oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Tower of Terror? Yep, just for you. Oh, thank you so much. So you're thank welcome. You. Oh, this is gonna, <laughs> can't wait to put these on her and get photos. And oh, lot, lots of stuff happening in, in my life. But there's also lots of stuff happening in the world of theme parks around town. So let's get to the news in the queue. All right. First up this week, the ever-popular Frozen will be finding its way into the 2015 Princess Half Marathon Weekend. Less than 24 hours ahead of open registration for the Marathon Weekend, Run Disney announced that the Princess 5K, the kids' races, and the medals given out at the end of each race would all be Frozen-themed. Open registration for the event began on Tuesday at noon. As of this taping right now, there were some still some spots available in the 5K and kids races, but if you want to participate and haven't registered yet, we encourage you to drop whatever you're doing and go register right now. Mm -hmm. For more information on the Princess 5K weekend and all of the Run Disney events or to register, visit RunDisney.com. I love doing Run Disney events. I've done the Tower one a couple times. Uh, I did Jingle Jungle 5K. Uh, they're, they're really a lot of fun to do. Uh, Everest Challenge was a lot of fun. Have I you have, ever done one? I have yet to do a Disney one. Um, maybe I could if there's still some spots available. I don't know. <laughs> they're they're very they're very well run. They got lots of fun characters and Frozen. I mean, I would love to have a Frozen medal. I might, I might sign up for that this Princess cool. 5K. Have, have a guy running with the little girls and <laughs> <laughs> like let it go. <laughs> do it, <laughs> Bang. Do it. <laughs> now, talking about Frozen makes you want an ice cold beverage. Maybe you should check out the Share a Coke tour and get your own free personalized Coke cans like we got right here. Coca-Cola's new campaign centers around cans featuring the phrase share a Coke with and then a first name or another term such as a friend or soulmate. The share a Coke tour has been stopping at local theme parks allowing guests to personalize a Coke can with their own name for free. The only dates left in the area are today July 17th and tomorrow at Wet n Wild from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you can't make it to the park no worries the tour is making stops all across the country at different attractions and stores. Visit shareacoke.com to check the map of locations. Went out to Epcot to get these. Got one for Sydney, got one for Spencer, and got one for you. Thank you for getting this for me. I of course. love it. I love personalized things with my name on it because they're hard to come by for me with my spelling. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's so hard to find yeah. banks anywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna, 
I'm really happy that this uh, this came about, and, and Sydney as well, because a lot of Sydneys out there are the S Y spelling, mm -hmm. uh, but hers is S I, so it was great to get her one as well. So exactly, it's really nice. Definitely stop by if it's in your area. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Coca Cola, they have teamed up with SeaWorld and Bush Gardens to debut a special plant bottle refillable cup. The plant bottle is the first refillable plastic cup made from plant-based materials. The new bottle swaps traditional plastic resins with natural sugars found in plants. Fewer fossil-based ingredients means a smaller carbon footprint. SeaWorld's switch to plant bottle plastic in its refillable cups is expected to remove 35 metric tons of CO2 emissions wow. annually. The plant bottle reusable cup is currently available in all SeaWorld and Bush Gardens parks across the U.S. And, you know, it's, the, it's still the same look as the souvenir bottles that you have seen for years, but yeah, it's just made of a different material. And uh, Coca-Cola and SeaWorld really ha have done a lot of great things uh, together. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just another part of that partnership. Definitely, yeah. I will definitely get this cup. I think I have every single refillable cup from SeaWorld. I love well, collecting you, them. Now you know, you got to recollect them all and, and have you have the plant bottle versions mm -hmm. of each one. Now, while we're talking about Bush Gardens and SeaWorld, a brand new animal show, Opening Night Critters, has debuted at Bush Gardens in Pantopia. The new show takes place in the renovated Pantopia Theater and features rescued domestic and exotic animals including dogs, cats, birds, a horse, and a kangaroo, among others. The story follows a couple of stagehands as they find themselves thrust into the spotlight alongside some very uncooperative animals. I, I love animal shows. I, I love the, uh, the Pets Ahoy, Pets Ahoy at SeaWorld, and so I'm very excited to see this uh, pet show. Air-conditioned theater, mm -hmm. uh, the, the interior looks very spacious, uh, hold a lot of people, and you know, it's just so fun to see dogs and cats. And Definitely. Well, the thing I love about the SeaWorld pet shows is the fact that they, a lot of the animals they get from shelters across the country. Actually, all of the animals. All of the animals. At Pets Ahoy, I know that every single animal they get there, they rescue from an animal shelter. That's, that's, a, that's definitely a great cause, and it's a, it's a great show. And, uh, I, I can't wait to go out and see this new one. Me too. Finally this week, Universal has announced that From Dusk Till Dawn will be coming to life this year as a house at Halloween Horror Nights 24. This all new maze will thrust guests into a deviant world where they will encounter mythological creatures known as, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right because I haven't seen the show, Kulbras, Kul Kulbras, serpent-like vampires who have tormented the earth for centuries. As guests navigate the maze and venture deep within the bowels of the sinister bar, the Twister, mm. they will find themselves facing to face with a cast of characters, including the Queen Vampire. The inspiration for this maze comes from Robert Rodriguez's televised version of From Dusk Till Dawn and will be appearing in both Hollywood and Orlando for Halloween Horror Nights. Sounds I, creepy. I, I, I know this was a, this is one of Robert Rodriguez's earliest uh, works uh, in film. I think it was in the early 90s that the, the film version of From Dusk Till Dawn first came out and now uh, this year they, they started this, this all new televised uh, television version of uh, of the movie uh so it's kind of like an extension of that universe hmm. uh haven't seen the show yet haven't seen the movie in a very 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 long time so i'm not i need to have to familiarize yeah. myself with this again but mm -hmm. vampires i mean it's that's but cool. yeah. not the kind of like sparkly vampires that a lot of people are <laughs> used to Edward these days Cullen. this is like intense the, Twilight fans are not going to want to go into this one, just to say that. <laughs> well, I better think twice then. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody! For this week, let's go back to the Magic Kingdom and Fantasyland. At the beginning of your ride through the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh in Rabbit's Garden, the small marker with radishes in the middle pot to the left of the lettuce sign has one radish shaped like a classic hidden Mickey. Notice that lettuce is spelled L-E-T-U-S in a true rabbit fashion. So good luck with this one, it's hard to see. Happy hunting. Theme Park Connection offers a wide variety of pins, props, figurines, artwork, signs, decor, cast member exclusives, and other one-of-a-kind finds. Looking to sell your old collectibles? Theme Park Connection will buy them from you. Visit their showroom located minutes from Orlando International Airport or find them online at themeparkconnection.com. So, uh, what's up next? Well, we sent Andy out to visit the great escape room. What's that? Basically, they lock you in a room and you have to figure out how to get out by solving puzzles. Hmm, interesting. Sounds difficult, though. 
Yeah, I did promise Andy we'd send some crack puzzle solvers to help him out, but I can't think of anyone to send. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I have just the right people to send over. Yeah, are they good at solving puzzles? I have no idea, but it should be entertaining. Oh boy. Hey guys, I'm here live at the Great Escape, a new uh, puzzle attraction here in Orlando. Apparently I'm gonna get locked in a room and have to find my way out. I was told I could bring a crack team of uh, people with me. Unfortunately, I brought these guys. Howard, can you tell us a little bit about the new attraction? Uh, no, no I can't, I'm sorry, it's a secret, no. Fair enough, thank you. <laughs> Um, actually, The Great Escape is a scavenger hunt, uh, also filled with solving puzzles. You take the clues that you find, they give you hints to solve puzzles. It requires some lateral thinking. Uh, you have to go ahead and think outside the box. And when you actually do solve a puzzle, it's sort of like an aha moment where you sort of go, of course, that's what it should have been. Of course. Uh, where'd you get the idea for this? Um, it actually started overseas in Japan and then it spread to China and it became sort of a conversion from a virtual reality game, which was on the internet, to reality games that people were participating in. And um, then there was an article, frankly, in the Wall Street Journal, read about it, and I said, that's a great idea. And we took that concept and really it is an original version though that is uh, something unique and the first one certainly in the state of Florida. Awesome. Uh, how long does it take to do? Um, well, it should take an hour, but unfortunately for many it's a little bit more than that. So uh, you do have an hour to uh, sort of attempt to solve it. Uh, about maybe 20% of the groups actually do solve it. The other 80% you'll probably meet when you go inside. <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Um, wonder, can we get a, a preview of it? Maybe take a little look? Absolutely. Awesome, thanks. In. Very cool. All right, wow. All right. I have no idea what's going on here. Fair enough. But that will change. Um, okay. You'll sort of uh, find things, it will help you to solve things, and it will all make sense eventually, and hopefully within an hour. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here's hoping. Has maybe see me a little bit later, still in here. We did it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Good job, Haley. Thanks. Gwen, we escaped the room. It's not easy. As you can see, if you remember earlier, we tore this place apart. We found the clues. We solved the puzzles. There were 11 of us total. Thanks, guys. Woo! Oh, uh, what was your favorite part? I solved one of the clues. She totally helped solve one of the clues. I did so. She solved one of the clues. What was your favorite part? Um, tearing everything up and finding the pieces to put the information to solve the clues. That was pretty fun. Uh, if you guys want to check it out yourself, it's thegreatescaperoom.com. It's about 30 bucks. You can find some discounts online. It's in downtown Orlando. You should definitely check it out. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. You don't have to travel that far from the theme parks to find a side of Florida that is still wild and untamed. Yeah, people forget that Walt Disney World and the other local attractions were built on what is basically swampland. But the untouched parts of Central Florida have a beauty all on their own and definitely deserve to be experienced firsthand. Yeah, experienced by Haley. I said I was sorry. I forgot about the whole sending Haley out on assignments you wanted to do thing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to admit she does do a great job. Mm -hmm. Besides, I think she'll enjoy the wildlife park section. Yeah, There's yeah. birds and snakes and alligators. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we sent Haley. Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. But I'm excited to see this now. Roll the tape. Well, guys, they've done it. They've sent me to the middle of nowhere. Actually, we're here at Wild Florida. Not only can you take a cool airboat ride, but they also have a wildlife park. I'm not so sure I like the look of those gators.
What can you expect when you come out and visit Wild Florida? Well, you can expect just about anything. Uh, we have 4,500 acres on the lake that we have access to. This is like a National Geographic expedition. There's no development, so you'll see all of the natural, the beautiful birds, the eagles, the herons, the gallinoles, the all the kinds of birds that you could possibly expect, but obviously the alligators, all the flora and fauna of Florida untouched. In addition to the uh, actual airboat ride, if you come and take a ride, we give you an admission to our exotic animal park where we have everything from uh, Watusis to zebras to sloths to tamarins to the pythons, interactive exhibits with lemurs and lots of uh, interesting educational items for kids as well as the family. Come in. I'm good. No, you're good. Right? <laughs> Same I have a fear of birds. We like to call it FOB. Fear of birds. I have a lot of fears of animals, though. So. Fear of alligators. No, it's hitting. See it? How do you what feel about it? snakes? No, no. No? Okay. No, no. You gotta let the say, don't you? You wanna be careful when you come out to see the gators. That's just a few of the animals here at Wild Florida. As you can see behind me, there's a lot more. All right, we're about to go on my first airboat tour ride. I'm kind of nervous because there's going to be alligators, but it should be fun. Go up in the tallest tree there in front of us. You'll see a bald eagle sitting up there in the tree. Oh, wow. Right now he's got his head, there he comes back up. There's these big yellow flowers here, these are lotus. You see how they, the shower heads open up? See the seeds in them? You get them when they're still green, you can eat them. You ever heard of lotus tea? Yeah. The little green vein in the middle of these is what they make the tea from. That's right. It does taste like a walnut. Yeah. Yeah. It'll... In a weird kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> and some, sometimes it'll have a small hint of coconut. It's actually a big nest, but it's flat from the rain has been beaten on it. A lot of times they'll add grass to it to make it mounted again, but she has. When you asked how did I know it was the female, because of the nest. The male's not going to be sitting here at the nest unless there's babies here and then he's going to eat them. Well, that's, that's terrible. Idea, that's a... It's not a happy ending. You want to get a little closer? Yeah, no, I'm good. Sure, you can, I can see, see it. I can see perfectly fine. <laughs> I promise you. here there's actually three canals on this lake two flow into the lake one flows out you can actually go to the Gulf of Mexico Atlantic Ocean or southern Everglades from here by water so it's just a hop skip and a jump from Orlando um, can you tell me how long and certain directions that guests should take to get out here yeah it really is not very hard to, to get here at all most of the concierge desk at the, all the hotels and the venues have got a map that we have provided to them but either through your GPS system 
or you can get on 192 and just come to St. Cloud, come to Vermont and turn right, travel about 10 or 15 minutes and you'll see the big sign. Uh, maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes to, to get here from most places in Orlando. If you want to come out and experience this for yourself, Wild Florida is open every day except Sunday. It's located just 45 minutes from the Disney area. For more information, check out their website, wildfloridaairboats.com. Long lines are just a reality of the theme park experience, but there are plenty of things you can do to help decrease the waits. First, if at all possible, plan your trip for a non-peak season and day to minimize the crowds. Second, at Walt Disney World, pre-book your fast passes for the rides you absolutely have to ride at the busiest times of the day. This leaves you open to enjoy attractions with shorter lines when they'll be their shortest. Third, remember that rides will have their shortest lines at park open and during any parade or fireworks show. Last, if it's within your budget, most of the major theme parks offer a VIP tour package which gets you front of the line access as well as a knowledgeable personal guide to show you around. Don't pay full price for your theme park tickets. Undercover Tourist gets tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Our Disney tickets are RFID and FastPass Plus enabled and can be linked directly to My Disney Experience. Add a car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park and other planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com to buy your tickets today. All right, well, Banks, it is giveaway time again. Indeed. Last week, we asked what superpower would you like, and some of the superpowers that people wanted, teleportation, so they could come to Orlando whenever they wanted, oh. invisibility to sneak into the parks, and the ability to clean the house while watching the show. I'd like to be able to clean the house while editing the show. That's a good one. <laughs> Last week's winner is Mystery FX, who said they'd like to be able to have the right answer to every question. Well, your answer was right, so congratulations. <laughs> yes, congratulations. So this week's giveaway, we have a little package from Cars. We have a Cars plush toy, mm -hmm. a Cars antenna topper, as well as a Cars magnetic collection, all from Cars Land. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this week's contest, if you haven't gone over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash attractions magazine and liked it, head over there now, hit the like button and post a comment under this post for the episode. It'll be pinned to the top of the page so you can find it very easily. And that's how you're going to enter the contest. Awesome. So again, just to reiterate, to enter this week's giveaway, if you aren't already a fan of our Facebook page, find it and like it. Then leave a comment under the post announcing this week's show. If you're under 18, please get your parents' permission. Each person will only be entered once, and we need to see your comment by the end of next Tuesday, July 22nd, 2014. One winner will be randomly chosen. Good luck. And I think that brings us to our weekend look at the Attractions Magazine calendar. That's right. This week, you can still see Slippery One Wet, the ultimate Bon Jovi tribute, through Saturday at Epcot Sounds Like Summer Concert Series. Starting Sunday, you can catch To You, a tribute to you 2 And Saturday night, you can see Joe Morton narrate Harambe Nights at the Animal Kingdom. Or if you prefer, you can see Pentatonix perform at Busch Gardens Summer Nights. Remember, you can find more information on all these events on our blog. Don't forget to stay up to date with all the local happenings and more. You can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com. Mm -hmm. And with that, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea, at no cost to you. Visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can find the best in Disney, entertainment, and NASCAR memorabilia. Visit the showroom right here in Orlando or online at themeparkconnection.com. We're also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Also, attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week. And of course, the magazine itself, our summer issue is available right now through our website, in our app, and on the Nook. Well, if you haven't seen on our YouTube at youtube.com slash attractions magazine, we have a brand new weekly series that debuted called the Weekly Rewind. It's uh, Nick Russo who does the photo finds, mm -hmm. had this as a section of photo finds for a while. People loved it, so he's decided to expand it basically, make awesome. it its own weekly series. Every Monday you can go onto our YouTube and see the new videos. They take a look back at our Twitter at twitter.com slash attractions, all the photos that we've posted over the past week and just recap everything if you mm. miss anything. 
That's great. It's, it's a very great series. Definitely. Make sure you check that out. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, be sure to visit your local attractions, try something new, and stay safe. But most of all, have, have fun. fun. given out at the end of each race would be for would be all would all okay some of the answers we got were for people that want <laughs> one more time yeah got it yeah. got it can you feel it and now, now? Whoa, whoa. And we're on our way oh, whoa. Okay. oh. sunrise Someday. on the bay sorry